Okay. So last class, we discussed about airlines, company structure, and also we talked about airlines and airport nexus, if you remember. Further, we also covered types and models of airports operations. That is like, you know, we delved into the aspect of uh, the scale of operation. We said we have uh, international airlines, domestic or national airlines, and also regional airlines. Well, today we are going to talk about or discuss about airlines operations control system or airlines operation control center. Let's go to our slides. Well, so today, as I said, we are going to learn about airlines operation control, and that is considered to be the coordination hub of the airline, of that particular airlines, or, you know, airlines operation control center. You can also call it as a nerve center of airline operations. Now, why we are calling it as the coordination hub or nerve center, it is because, you know, much of the operations take place here and they are mostly concerned with, you know, monitoring air traffic or looking after effective delivery of services on one hand and seeing that services are not disrupted. So thereby, airlines operation control center is considered as you know, the nerve center of airlines operation. You also have this airport operation control center, which is considered to be as a nerve center of the airport. Now, having thus set the perspective, let's move on to see what our slides have in store. So, well, flight operation controls main purpose is to exercise control over initiating, directing, or terminating a flight. So what do they mean by this? What is the basic operation of flight operation control center or you know, airlines operation control center? What is the main purpose? The main purpose is to monitor initiation of the flight or direction or you know, directing the flight's moment or even terminating a flight or you take care up to the landing that is from the takeoff to the landing as for the flight schedule. So this is the main purpose of flight operations control or airlines operation control center. So it operates as a coordination hub with the other factors or other departments inside the airport. They coordinate for smooth uh, you know, operations of a particular flight as per the flight schedule. So therefore, airlines operation control center of an airline company is the body that is responsible for monitoring and resolving operational issues. Not just operational issues, but the main purpose is to see that the flights are unhindered or the services that they deliver are unhindered. Or basically, the services must be effective and it should be disruption free. Now, this body that is the airline operation control system or center, it comprises of teams of human experts who specialize in addressing aircraft related problems, crew member issues and passenger problems, which may disrupt any flight smooth operations. But these days, apart from human experts, you also have artificial intelligence, that is AIs, right? I'm sure you heard of it. I'm sure you heard about how artificial, uh, artificial intelligence is playing a prominent role in most of the industries today. They're trying to integrate it in every industry, including the um, you know, airports and airlines. So AOCC comprises of human experts as well as artificial intelligence who, is, who you know, specialize in addressing aircraft related problems or crew member issues and passenger problems which may disrupt any flights smooth operations so therefore you could say that this is a process of operations recovery or even disruption management right now airline operation control can be bifurcated to strategic airline operation control and tactical airline operation control that means it can be divided into two. 
It can be bifurcated or divided into two, strategic airline operation control and tactical airline operation control. Now, what is strategic airline operation control? Now, planning and scheduling are the precursors of strategic airline operation. That means planning and scheduling is, of course, very important for strategic airline operations. Planning and scheduling goes before any planning or any strategic airline operations. It is a precursor. That means it is something that is you know, mandatory or preemptory to be carried out for you know, planning or for charting out the airline operations. So what you need is two important factors or two important functions to be done, that is planning and scheduling. <clears throat> Next is here the operations group devise a plan for aircraft rotation for each trip and they prepare a schedule of crew trips on a periodical basis. So this is basically the function here, that is they prepare a schedule of crew trips on periodical basis, as well as they also plan for aircraft rotation, that is on the routes that it takes. Next is tactical airline operation control. Now, at this phase, what happens is pre-planned strategic plans are implemented. Operations constraints are addressed or of course resolved and operations are rescheduled. Now suppose there is any impediment in any particular plan, in, in, in the execution of any plan. In case there is a hurdle or an impediment or something stops the plan, a particular plan that they have, they say, okay, so and so airline has so and so aircraft. This is the flight schedule. It's going to take off at this time. It's going to land in, in the next aerodrome at some other time. And so everything has to be taken care of, including fueling, checking, maintenance, everything has to be done. So now suppose there is a hurdle in this plan, in the effective delivery or in the effective execution of the plan. So these operation constraints are addressed and resolved. And then what happens? These operations are rescheduled. Further, the aspect of flight operation control, which involves maintenance and station operations, is managed by certain relevant centers. That is the airline operation control center. They have the maintenance operation control center, also called as the MOCC, which is normally located at the airliner's major facility and the station's operation control center. Right, So tactical airline operation control encompasses also these four factors of, uh, you know, airline operation control center, the main operation, the, the maintenance operation control center and the station operation control center. That is the three factors, airline operation, AOCC, MOCC maintenance, as well as station operations control center. Now, the airline operations may be referred to by different departmental names. They may call it, you know, systems control department or airlines control department. However, the AOCC may be divided basically into three functional groups. Now, these functional groups are usually, you know, normally or usually located together in the airline operations control center. That is, you know, airlines operation controller or systems operation controller. They may have the flight dispatch group and they also have the crew operations group. So these three groups, they may be located within the airline operations control center of any airline or in a particular airport. Now, what is this airlines operations controller? Now, the primary responsibility of the airline operations controllers is of overall system scheduling, management, maintenance, upgradation, and of course, efficient delivery. So apart from that, they also you know, resolve the issues that may spring up during operations and prepare revised operational schedules based on you know, the inputs received from the corresponding departments 
of the other departments that they are coordinating with. However, the rescheduling may be strategized as per the internal policies of each airlines. Next, you have the flight dispatch group. Now, the flight dispatch group is responsible for flight planning and dispatch, which comprises of licensed personnel who are certified flight dispatchers responsible for safety and operations control of any flight or for each flight. So this is a flight dispatch group. So what is the main function? Basically, flight dispatch group is the first thing that should come to your mind is flight planning and dispatch. They are, of course, licensed personnel. They are certified flight dispatchers and they are you know, responsible for the safety and the operational control of each flight, each flight of that particular airlines. So by law, the responsibility for the safety and operation control of each flight is equal responsibility of the dispatcher and the captain of the flight. The flight sometimes, you know, may be canceled for safety concerns. It can be weather concern or some technical issue or, you know, there can be an N number of problems with any flight. So it may be canceled. So in such a case, the FDC, again, regenerates flight plans. Just imagine a situation where the flights are canceled. So when the flights are canceled, what is the next option or what is the next move rather? They would reschedule the flight. They'll reschedule the flight. They'll regenerate flight plans and so on. So apart from that, at the next stage, we have the FDC who generates, that is, of course, flight plans, monitors aircraft load and fuel restrictions, monitors crew and facility restrictions and tracks the safe progress of each flight. Now, the FDG may be located in the airport operations section or the other groups such as you know the meteorology group and a load control group also may be located at the airport operations section and they may also support the fdg in fact they are supposed to support the fdg now the dispatcher's overall responsibilities thereby include planning flight dispatch and flight following Flight dispatcher looks after the fuel requirements of the aircraft. So this is his duty. The duty of the flight dispatcher is to also look after the fuel requirements of the aircraft. The last thing we have is crew operations group. Now the COG is responsible for managing crew members as they are assigned the airline route network. However, the basic crew operations involve you know, scheduling, crew following, as well as crew scheduling. So therefore, if a question comes to you that what is the main role of airport or sorry, airlines operation control? So this is the answer that you'll have to give what we have discussed today. Apart from that, you expected to do some additional reference, build your notes that is being uploaded in your Google Classroom. I'll be uploading even some notes for you. And of course, this PPT will be there. So you will be expected to also build upon the notes that are you know, uploaded in your best interest, of course. And uh, you can also build up your answers just to you know, distinguish your answers from one another. And that would be a way of scoring maximum marks. So let me know if you have any questions. So, well. so I believe that you have understood this chapter, airlines operation control. I'll just reiterate for you in brief, this airlines operation control is also considered as the coordination hub. Airline operations control center is also called as the coordination hub. It coordinates with the other departments, which may be located within the airlines operation control center. You can also call it as a nerve center which is situated within the airport. It is normally concerned with monitoring of air traffic or also effective delivery of services. That is, their main intention is that their services should not be disrupted 
that the flow of traffic must be very smooth. Further, flight operation control's main purpose, of course, is to exercise control over flight takeoff, flight landing, over initiation, direction, as well as termination of any flight. AOCC of any airline company is that body that is responsible for not only monitoring the, you know, monitoring the operational aspects, but also for resolving any problems that, you know, that come up in the in the pursuit of airline operations. Next is it of course comprises of team of human experts, but these days you also have the artificial intelligence. So apart from human experts, we have artificial intelligence or even there is a robotic mechanism which specializes or where human experts specialize in addressing aircraft related problems, crew member issues, passenger problems, which may disrupt any flights, smooth operations. Because, you know, all this is pre-planned. Everything goes as for strategic plans. Next is thereby, this is a process of operations management, operations recovery, and disruption management. Now, airlines operation control, the study of it, or to understand the aspect of airlines operation control, you can look at it in two angles, or you can bifurcate it to strategic airline operation control and tactical airline operation control. What is strategic airline operation control? Strategic airline operation control involves planning and scheduling, which are precursors of strategic airline operations. So planning and scheduling are two important aspects of strategic airline operations. You need to plan, you need to schedule the flights. You need to plan the flight schedule. You need to uh, schedule those flights. Now here, the operation groups devise a plan for aircraft rotation for each trip, okay? They say which aircraft has to be used for which trip, for which route or route, however you want to pronounce it, R-O-U-T-E, aircraft rotation for each trip. And they prepare a schedule of crew trips on a periodical basis. That is, which member crew will go on which aircraft, you know, so they will plan it accordingly, strategically plan it. So this is their function, planning and scheduling the trips. Next is tactical airline operation control. So at this phase, you have pre-planned strategic plans. At this phase, we have pre-planned strategic plans, which are implemented. Operation constraints are addressed. That is, any impediments that may be there. Or they may be, and also resolved and or resolved, and operations are rescheduled. Further, the aspect of flight operation control involves maintenance and station operations as well. Now, these are taken care of from the three hubs that is, the airline operation control center, maintenance operation control center, as well as the station operation control center, or you call it as AOCC, MOCC, and SOCC. Next is airline operations may be referred to by different departmental names. You may also call it as systems control department, depending upon in which country it is. So they sometimes call it as systems control department. It is also called as airlines control department. However, the AOCC may be divided basically into three functional groups. These functional groups may be located within the airline operations control center, or it may be beyond the airport operations control center, but basically they need to coordinate with one another. It is considered as, you know, uh, you know, it is considered as, you know, one group or it is considered as a, you know, a single mechanism that operate in coordination with one another. That is airlines operation controller, systems operation controller, the flight dispatch group, as well as the crew operations group. Airlines operation control basically are responsible for the overall system schedules, management, maintenance, upgradation, and efficient del delivery. They resolve the issues that may spring up during operations and prepare revised operational schedules based on the inputs received from the corresponding departments. However, the rescheduling may be strategized as per the internal policies of each airline. Next is the flight dispatch group. The flight dispatch group or FDG also you might call it as a flight dispatch center. So they are responsible for flight planning and dispatch, which comprises of licensed personnel who are certified flight dispatchers responsible for the safety and operational control of each flight. 
And by law, the responsibility for the safety and operational control of each flight is the equal responsibility of the dispatcher and the captain of the aircraft. So flights may be canceled sometimes for safety concerns. And so when it is canceled, so what they do, they try to reschedule those flights. The FDC or the FDG, one and the same, we call it center or group, they generate flight plans, monitor aircraft load and fuel restrictions, monitor through facility restrictions, and they also track the safe progress of each flight. The FDG may be located in the airport operation section. And the other groups such as meteorology group and the load control group, they also support the FDG. Now, the dispatcher's overall responsibilities thereby include planning, flight dispatch, and flight following. They follow the flights, the movement of the flight. So flight dispatcher also looks after the fuel requirements of the aircraft. The last thing in this is a crew operations group, the COG. They're responsible for managing crew members as they assign the airline route network. However, the basic crew operations involve scheduling, crew following, and crew scheduling. So that's all for this class. If you have any questions, you can ask me. Meanwhile, again, a gentle reminder about your assignments. Please submit it before the due date or at least on the due date, that is tomorrow, 21st February, 2023. Let me know if you have any questions.